It is. You're the highest point along yeah. here. Where did uh, my mum originally. Nice bit of ridge walking, eh? That's a commando ridge there, Nigel.
So this is where we've just scrambled down. And Nigel, you've done quite a bit more climbing than I have, haven't you? A little bit, not recently, but yeah. Uh, but that was really good, real nice little ending to the, uh, a while to the trip. So we're on uh, the plateau now where the, the tarn is, and we're just gonna try and find somewhere to pitch up. I don't think Charles Star will mind about this. Oh no, it won't, but I mean, I, I've had enough of it today. <laughs> I don't know whether I've got sunburn, Oh, I've been slapped about too much by to uh, breeze. Come on, let's go find somewhere, yeah. right? That's it, is it? That's it. Sweet. So for tea tonight, I have got my noodles in here, and in here I have my dried textured soy mince with half a packet of Coleman's uh, bolognese or chili con carne powdered. Um, the seasoning, the mix. Yeah, seasoning mix. I don't know which one's which. I will find out when I eat it. And I've got Steve's dehydrated tin tomato a half a tin tomato in there as well as that so that will get rehydrated that will get rehydrated and then i'll eat it good stuff yeah sounds good i hope so would like to know what i've got to eat what have you got to eat steve bear with me one moment <laughs> <laughs> everything hurts <laughs> so lisa a boiled uh, spaghetti, fully cooked it, and then dehydrated it, and then the the red mincy looking stuff is uh, that vegan uh, soya meat alternative, and it's it's going to come out like a spaghetti bolognese, but I've not tried to rehydrate it yet. And if you look, you know what I was saying about the the noodles looking like they made small puncher marks yeah. because the noodles are like really sort of quite hard. I don't know whether we've punctured this actual bag. Tag tag. All right. But um, I'm just going to get eaten either way because I'm absolutely starving. <laughs> yeah. Very far. Yeah, we need a few calories in as last. Yeah. And uh, cut. Ah! Ah! <laughs> right, Nigel's food. He's got, uh, that's the chilli con carne it turns out and he's already tucked into the uh, noodles, but they're going down the tree by the looks of it. And that is what a spaghetti bolognese comes back like. Um, so I'm gonna get stuck into that. I'm quite looking forward to that.
Right, this is leaving camp. Nothing here at all um, left by us. Uh, a bit of bit of dry grass but other than that nothing we've had thunder and lightning this is a, a break in the, the weather so we've packed now and we're going to let it down the hill a bit hopefully it'll be a bit, be a bit drier on the uh, the valley floor it's lovely at night it's beautiful <laughs> it's like come out here for yeah it's pretty That is either called Trifen or Triffen. And I want to camp on the other side of it. Um, so I'll be back for that. Nigel and I are on the uh, the valley floor now. Um, I've held together in one piece. You're alright, are you, bud? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Nearly dinner time. Um, and then we've got to find a, a lowish level camp somewhere close to the cars uh, for the gruelling. Uh, bank holiday Monday travel. You're going back your way, yeah. and I'm going deep down south. <laughs> Trying to beat the traffic anyway. Horrible. Yeah, so that's us. Um, brilliant. Really enjoyed it. Wales is stunning. This part of Wales is absolutely beautiful when the mist isn't in. Yeah, good camp. I was just saying to Nigel, I've given up walking. Um, I'm flagging, I haven't taken on enough water. Bad Stephen. Oh. Just round the bottom of this uh, ridge, a little way up is um, some water. Um, Lake Tarn, whatever you call it down here. Uh, we're gonna look at that potentially for a wild camp spot. Um, it's still very early in the day and we do have lots of daylight left. No energy. And Nigel's not quite as bouncy as he's making out on camera. Even though you are full of jelly babies. Uh, I haven't had one yet yet. Well, you, well, you get rid of half a kilo of weight there if you start dispensing them lads out. That's your, that's your weight, mate. Where's, where's all that dried fruit and stuff that you've got? Come on, get that out on camera. Amaze the world. And what did that weigh to start with? That was a 250 gram pack. Give up, that's, that's more than that now. No, it's 250 grams. Really? Yeah. I, I, thought, I, was, I thought you were going to say half a kilo. No. I do have two of them, so technically... There you go, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just one pack, I ate the other one. I yesterday. thought that was your dinner. Or is that just... Snack. It's my snack box bag. Right. My dinner was me tuna and... Wrap. Wrap tuna and couscous -couce wrap. Which uh, I left the couscous out, which, I'm, which I didn't. Yeah, to pad it out. Yeah. And I, I made sandwiches. Um, three days ago. Three days ago. And they were brown bread with crab paste in them. So I'm not always uh, a swanky diner. And what I ate today did not resemble either bread or crab paste. And I was singing this song, when will I see you again? Because it was manky. So um, I'm going back to wraps and uh, tuna, tuna with uh, Nigel, because I think that's probably the best way forward. Uh, his looks a lot more appetizing than mine today, I can tell you. I like the couscous idea. The couscous, we need, to dis we need to put that in a pot though, don't we? So instead of it be like making it all. Yeah, yeah, don't add it with the wrap in the morning. It turns the wrap yeah. into something different. <laughs> Uh, still edible. Yeah, still nicer than your one. That's what I was convincing myself at dinner time, I show you. It's still nicer than your one. <laughs> Come on, let's get some walking done. Tadpoles. Yeah, please. We found it. Yeah. Damn!
Mom! Yeah, that's all right, that mate, isn't it? Right, the, the car, there's a, a road that's chiselled in along there and um, we've got the drop down to where, where, behind where Nigel is, down to the bottom, then along and find the footpath that leads us back up to the car. Um, personally, fatigue has like, really, really hit home. We've done, well, the most I've done wild camping, uh, metre-wise, height-wise, um, and all the rest of it. Are you feeling it as well, pal, or is it just me? Are you feeling tired, or is it just me? I'm yeah. Um, I've got a rubbing on my ankle, on my right ankle, uh, inside my boot, which I need to address. Um, my knee has stayed strong, uh, so whatever I've been doing, I've been walking with the poles all the time, and uh, I've got the, a knee support on, so that's really helped me as well. Um, I'm not camping tonight. Uh, it's been it's been grueling. It's from start to finish. It's been an absolute chore. But I've learned from it. Um, I'm going away with lots of memories and happy smiles. And Wales is beautiful. I can't wait to come back. Definitely going to do tripping. Whether I wild camp on it or next to it, um, we'll just have to wait and see. But definitely coming back here. Beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, you're not going to shut the gate? Oh, one minute, mate. <laughs> I don't know. If it is, we'll weigh it in. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's a bit rocky. Okay, okay. That is farmer's engineering at his best. It's not that bad, he said. Splash. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>